Hey, we're gonna do a trout clouser jig, and this is one I call the Black Dace. Uh, here is a finished version, uh, tied on a size four hook, real fishy fly. Um, instead of the uh, chartreuse hint eyes, this is a double pupil eye. This is an umqua, uh, 60 degree jig hook. If I had my perfect thread, it would be a Danville's uh, 210 white. But you know what? That's at home. So I got my Flow Blue Danville's, and it's going to work just fine. Thank you very much. Get a little uh, base there without shaking the table too much. Now we've got a, we're going to do a, this, why do I call this a clouser jig? It's either a jig or it's a clouser. No, that's not true. Um, some white bucktail. Gosh, who's got some white bucktail laying around the house? Um, I like this fly tied on a 60 degree jig hook. Gives me the option of swinging it. It also gives me the option of uh, running it under an indicator. Gives me the option of swinging it under an indicator. This is a uh, hairline uh, flat braid. It's uh, probably full blue. I like it. It's it's not dark. Just a real nice real nice shade. So this is really, uh, you know, there, we use all kinds of fancy stuff these days, but there's something to be said for going back to the basics, which is red and white, black and white. And why would that be? Because these colors have always, always, always been effective. Did I say always enough times? They're always, they, they have been effective for decades, many, many, many decades. So I'm gonna kind of pull that up there. I don't have to wrap under it. It's just, I just wanna make sure it'll stand up. Um, so black and white, red and white, yellow and red. These are uh, always effective combinations. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do here is add a little bit of, uh, sorry, sorry about that, lava lace, ice wing, this is minnow, it's a peacock, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a, I don't want to say neutral color, it's uh, it, it's kind of a, a it's a bait fishy looking color. A little bit of trimming there. Yeah. So this is not a really complicated fly. Um, I am going to use here some uh, Senyo's live bait brush. Right here. So why not just fish a clouser? You, you could, but if, if you tie this fly, it gives you the options of casting and stripping. You can fish it on the swing. You can also run it through pocket, one, pocket water under an indicator. So this just winds up, that's why I'm particularly enthused with these 60 degree jig hooks because it just gives me, they give me, these hooks give me more options. I can tie a fly that fishes effectively in more ways. Now this is on a four principally because I'm planning on targeting trout with this. Uh, trout, you know, say uh, 20 inches or less. 
if I was t targeting a big old bass, I'd probably use a size one. Uh, I like to keep my hooks proportional to the size fish I'm likely to catch because I don't like to injure fish if I'm releasing them. A um, little bit of a few stray hairs there. Let's see if I can trim them out. It's all good. A little bit of extra fuzz fuzziness never hurt anybody. A little bit of Loctite. And here you go. A trout clouser jig in the black dace color. And by the way, this, this looks, you don't notice the white here, or you don't notice much of the black. But when this brush gets wet, it just darn near becomes translucent and the, the black bucktail in there really shows up. Really nice fly, really fishy. I encourage you to try some and go have fun.